So our investigation now is how do big rocks break down into smaller rocks? And when you watched my video yesterday, I introduced you to two new types of rocks. One was granite and the other was called conglomerate. Now, granite is one that we might see in the kitchen. People have granite countertops. Um, we also use granite as headstones in cemeteries because it's a very strong, durable rock. Conglomerate is another type of rock that is mixed up with sand, rock particles, and other things. So we did observations on both of these rocks, and one of them even broke apart when I was trying to pull it and push on it. So how do we break these apart? Well, I have a jar. And I'm going to put my two granite pieces in this jar. Now, at home, I have something called a rock tumbler. And a rock tumbler, you plug into the wall, and it actually mechanically tumbles and um, shakes and shakes and shakes and shakes your rocks for as long as you might need them. We're not going to do that. In this experiment, I'm going to take the two types of granite, the granite pieces in this rock, and then I am going to shake my jar for about 90 seconds. And we're gonna see what we come up with. Okay, well I shook and shook and shook and shook and shook these rocks like over and over and over and over and over. And this was all I was able to, to get to break apart. So in your, you need your science notebook again, but look at what's happened to the jar. Can you see inside this jar? So I, I've affected the jar. I've dented some of the plastic with my scratching, like with me um, hitting and hitting and rocking it. It's made marks inside this jar. What I want you to do is look on your chart. Here is when we had the original granite before we tried to, before I tried to break it apart. Now I want you to take notes over what you see now. What you see now. So look, I'll zoom in. And on this part, I want you to write granite tumbled, because that's what we just did. We tried to break apart the rock. So granite tumbled. And take a, take a look and take some notes. So for my notes, I wrote fine sand-like particles, which is this. Very fine. See how it's very... Um, only two smaller pieces broke off, but the original rocks look almost the same. So if granite was outside, it would take a long, long time and a lot of pressure and a lot of work to break these rocks apart. So it's a very durable, strong type of rock. Now we're going to try the exact same experiment with the conglomerate. Remember, this was the one that I kind of broke apart, tried to like pull apart with my fingers. So we're going to see what happens when I do the exact same thing with conglomerate. Here we go. Oh, my arm is tired. Okay, first of all, look at this jar. Look what happened. See all the dust particles that are all along the sides of the container? Okay, so I'm going to pour it out and let's see what you notice. Ooh, there goes some dust particles and smoke. Holy moly, look at that. Oh, can you still see it? Like, I don't know if you can see it. I have dirt now all over my computer. Okay, take a peek at the conglomerate. Now I'm gonna use this pencil to kind of like move things away. Look at that. One of the rocks is almost completely gone. Do you see how um, with the tumbling that I did, that one of the rocks has completely broken down into gravel and sand pieces. And we have no, none, none of that rock is left except for these rounded type gravel pieces. Now, even if I look at the rock that was left, this one is also rounded and there's no real sharp edges on it anymore. So I want you to go ahead and take notes take notes on the conglomerate and what happened with the conglomerate after it was tumbled. Okay, after looking at the conglomerate that was tumbled, my notes state one rock was completely broken down into sand, gravel, and very small pieces, 
and rounded edges. If you look at it, it actually looks like some of the soil that we might have been observing a few, a few videos ago. So the process of how soil is created is through the physical breaking down of rocks and earth materials. Do you see how that looks like some of the soil that we have seen? It's so cool. It's a pretty cool process. Okay, so now we're gonna start talking about physical weathering, physical weathering. Today you're going to take notes over three words, weathering, physical weathering, and abrasion. All rocks, including mountains, that are exposed at the Earth's surface break down over time. Some rocks, as you could see with the granite and the conglomerate, break down faster than others. Weathering is the geological word that's used to describe the breaking down of rock into smaller pieces. Right now, what we're talking about is physical weathering. And physical weathering occurs when a rock breaks down into smaller pieces without changing what it is made of. The conglomerate that we um, broke apart, I didn't add any new materials. This is still everything that originally was the conglomerate. Now, abrasion occurs when rocks rub into each other when they fall. It could be from a landslide. It could be when rocks hit one another, um, when they're pushed around by moving water, waves, or river. So I'm gonna give you time. Please hit pause so that you can write down the definitions of these three words. You will see them again. Weathering, physical weathering, and abrasion. We live in Indiana and Indiana has warm summers or hot summers and cold winters. We get snow, we get ice and things freeze. Well, water sometimes flows in the cracks of rocks or roads, ask your parents about potholes. So when the weather gets cold enough or below zero degrees Celsius, the water that has gone into those cracks freeze. So we're gonna pretend that this jar is a rock. Okay, I'm gonna fill it up with water and I'm gonna stick it in the freezer. Tomorrow when we meet, I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see what has happened. Make a prediction to think what might happen to this jar if I fill it up to the top with water and stick it in the freezer. Because this is what happens to our roads and to rocks when water goes down into the cracks inside of a rock or a road and then it freezes. I'll see you tomorrow.